respected ladies and gentlemen door of every opportunity is you window to sneak in your future is you the wall in between your success and failure is you and designer of your happiness is you it's all about you life is all about you let me give you a scenario there's a big calm composed river meandering in between the huge mountain ranges the ranges are topped with white shiny snow and the bottoms are dressed up with lush green valleys and the river is filled with so many boats colorful boats some are big some are small some are fast some are slow and some unfortunately are not able to move and one of the boats is belong to you you are rowing one of the boats rather each one of us are rowing the boats so am i i'm trying to row a paddle boat of my life i'm trying my best to move forward to achieve what i want to achieve like everyone else some are fast and some of them are not able to move while pushing my boat i see one boat which is not able to move i see someone is struggling very hard is not able to dwell with life i see is mark hey mark what's wrong why are you not able to move mark is my colleague when i reach out to mark i see mark is struggling with his life mark was just recently moved from london to dubai we were working together i asked him hey mark what's wrong why are you not able to move in your life mark started crying mark moved from london to dubai just because demise of his beloved wife he was trying to move forward in his life but still he was not able to make it through when i was there to console him hey mike come on this is life we have to live it the way it is we cannot go with the people who are living the life while i was trying to console my friend mike i was able to just relive my emotions my life in 2004 when i was going through the similar pain when i was in hospital for two months when i was struggling for my own life i met with a serious accident after 9 hours operation 2 days in icu i was in ward hospital ward but i was not able to even move my entire body was injured with 72 stitches like i was trying to console mike somebody came reached out to me to console my life hey amjad come on you cannot give up how can you do with your life you've got a second chance my boy that was none other than my own beloved father there was a day when i was about to change the ward and i had to change the stretcher doctor asked me to change she, she called four boys to move me to another stretcher but my father was standing by he said hey don't touch him let him do by himself you believe or not my entire body was in pain he just asked me to move by yourself this is your life you have to take control of your life i took about 4 to 5 minutes to just change the stretcher but i was able to do it when i did it 
He was in tears. He said, look at him. See how strong my son is? Because he has taken charge of his own life. Like my father did with me, like I was trying to do with my friend, Mike. Ladies and gentlemen, you have someone in your life who would be doing something for you. Who would be consoling you from your that bad times. Sometimes we live our entire life. Why Mark was not able to move? Why I was not able to move? Just because we were stuck. Our boat was still anchored. We were not able to cut the anchors. If you want to live your life, you want to move forward in your life, you have to cut your anchors, grudges, bad times, the painful stories, the breakups, bad experiences with your colleagues, with your jobs. If you want to move forward in your life. Why do I do that? Why do I share with all these experiences? Because I want to tell you all, you're so blessed. Where I'm coming from, I know what is hunger all about, what is pain all about. But today, if I'm successful, if I've traveled to so many countries, if I have a business, it's because of I have taken charge of my life. Rightly, our TMOD was mentioning, we are not machines. You cannot give your control to somebody else. The owner of your company, the colleague of yours, your spouse, your family members. You have to cut the anchor of your boat to move forward in your light, life. Speed is in your control. Size is in your control. If you want to be more faster in your life than your own personal speed, do you have to get along with the big boat, the big size. That's what happened in 2017. I decided to pace my life. Increase my speed so I can reach wherever I want to reach. I can achieve all my goals and dreams and I can learn from people's life because alone I won't be able to do what I want to do. Guess what happened in 2017? I joined the big board which was moving along colored with yellow, maroon and blue. That was Toastmasters board. In that boat, I saw so many small boats are anchored and people are just on top of it and they're cheering, yay! They're just enjoying their life. They're able to achieve more goals than people who are just moving alone. I joined them and I started achieving all my goals. I can speak now. Put me anywhere. You put me in front of the trees. I will speak. I will try to inspire them. Make them smile. Make them feel more green. Put me in front of any language, people I don't even speak. I don't care. Language is not about what you speak. Russian or English or any German language. It's about the way you transfer your emotions in people's heads. Door of every opportunity is you. The window to sneak in your future is you. The wall in between your success and failure, ladies and gentlemen, is you. The contractor, director, everything of happiness is you. If you have no control over you, then I'm sorry about you. Back to you.